I'm Jay Whaley and I'm going to show you how to alloy your own gold and silver today. There are two types of gold alloys that you need to be concerned about. One is a casting alloy and one is a rolling alloy. I only use the rolling alloys because they're soft and allow you to roll sheet and wire. Now with silver, we're going to alloy silver starting from pure silver and we're going to make it into sterling silver. Now I have a chart here that appears on my website that shows you all the different formulas for the different golds and silvers and different metals that you'll be concerned about. That's on my website. Now to alloy fine silver, which is what this is, pure silver, and make it into sterling, we're first going to weigh this coin. It comes up to 31.2 grams. 31.2 grams. Then, to alloy that, we're going to use a special alloy, which I like, called F88. It's an alloy that has some non-tarnishing properties that I really like from United Metals. And I'm going to take this chart, I'm going to take the 31.2 grams, 31.2, divided by 0.925, which is the amount of pure silver in sterling, equals 33.7. So, to make 33.7 grams of sterling out of the pure silver that I have, I'm going to add in my alloy, whoops, 30, 33.6, see that a tiny bit more, there we go, 33.7 grams. So now I have exactly the amount I need to make sterling silver. And if that's melted in a crucible with a torch, we get sterling silver. With gold, I have some pure gold here, 24 karat gold, and we're gonna alloy that. Let's say we're going to add that, alloy that into 18 karat yellow. I have some yellow alloy here. I'll take my pure gold, make sure that the scale is set at zero. I'll add my pure gold in. It says it's 6.1 grams. 6.1. If I'm going to make 18 karat gold, all 18 karat gold is, by definition, 75% pure gold. So I'm going to take the 6.1 grams, 6.1, divided by 0.75, according to my chart, equals 8.13. So what I'll do is then I'll add my 18 karat gold yellow alloy. I could have just as easily added a rose alloy or a green alloy or any number of other colors. But in this case, I'm going to make 18 karat yellow. So I add my alloy. Do this carefully. So you get 8.1 grams. So with that combination of alloy and pure gold, we have now, now made 18 karat yellow gold. And that will be melted down in a crucible, and that will be the start of an ingot. Or if you're doing the casting, it'll be the start of your casting.